Hello and welcome back to God of War played on Booster Raid. Let's finish that job and let's bring the scroll to the father which is somewhere. Bones. Bones. Fafnir storeroom. Ah yes, Fafnir storeroom. That's where the father is. Here's something I can't figure out. Odin wants to prevent Ragnar. But the serpent's already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already failed? Pete's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the old father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. The wolves that follow the sun and the moon, or just the sun? I don't quite know. One follows the sun, the second one follows the moon. I think. Now I need to check which way. This way? Yes, this way. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to fight. I can hear you. This sound just drives me crazy. Hi, kind guardian. Good guardian. damage than I would if I took that. Kid, take care of the rest. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Open up. Okay, you are supposed to take care of them. I am disappointed. We will need poison resistance. Hmm. I think either way should be okay. Atreus, to me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh no, scratch that. The other way should would be faster.
What are you fools doing back here? Come to pill for my boots and small clothes. We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? Did I fight him? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrit always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. <sighs> he's a backstabbing bastard, but... Knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. Well, it runs in the family. You did a good thing. Ooh. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people. Even the dead ones. <laughs> so much like your mother. And let's see the enchantment. I don't believe we can use it here. Uh, create a small... Wait, that's not it. Oh, right. Um, like this? I like that. But the other one is just lock 13. <laughs> yes? I keep going the wrong thing. Let's see. We can exchange multiple. And this one. We are slowly getting up to the sixth level. Excruciatingly slowly, but. Treasure should be somewhere here. Or not, wait. The rams. Not here? Wait, where is it? This one. Oh, I think I. Hmm? Oh no, they have. Braziers. Wait a minute. Maybe not here at all. Yeah. I have got it. I don't think we have any more blue ones left to change. Now we should find a way to destroy the statue of Thor. Mm -hmm. By the way, can you upgrade something for me? I can do whatever you need. Great. Um, maybe my talisman. No. Um. No. Oh, 
I would really love to upgrade those for more enchantments. Wait. For some reason, I thought it would oh, no, we reduce can't forget you. the amount of sockets. Okay, so nothing. Enchantments? Mm, I would love. I would like that one. I don't really want to get rid of smoldering thingies. Why not? What do we get? Uh, health burst. Any successful scenario? <laughs> sure. Don't let the dragger get you. Yes, 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 sure. Yeah, we don't have any more. Keep going into wrong one. Let's equip. This is worse. This is equally worse. Mm. Oh, that's different. This is worse. We have kind of okay gear. gear. I still would like more damage. A lot more damage. Okay, this is done. Uh, recover bones. I think those two are connected, but it's extremely hard to tell. Yeah, and then there's this one. Destroy the statue of Thor. But this is this is from Tower Ruins of the Ancient. Let's go here. If they are up there by any chance, but then I don't think I know how to get. Thank you for leaving both here. Yeah, that will just take us to the Fafnir. Maybe we should go here instead. Oh, oh, I guess we are going that way. Lemire, you were in the middle of a story before. Was I? Oh yes, the real story of Kumir the Brawler, a giant with head and heart of stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day, found him so amusing. So gullible that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. Or I can just tell you this story later. Yes, please. We're not getting a ah, it's 
Oh. This is infuriating. Um. Because I have no idea how to get there. I think it's... Hmm. Let's try here. <gasps> that was fast. Whoa. Expl what? What that means? <laughs> Explore all the Lake of Nine has to offer. There's no way we can get up there from here. So I guess we will try to destroy the statue of Thor somewhere here. I can hear you. already. I mean, not with you, but it was a fight. That's done. My father was buried with a valuable family mm -hmm. heirloom. It is yours. If you help me. Did we talk to you or not? Because apparently I completely ignored this part. I will talk to you. The serpent. Okay, the serpent. No, I'm wrong. I just completely ignored this part of the this place. So we go this way.
Now then, that story I started earlier. Brunir, the simple-minded stone giant, is invited by Odin to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Hrungnir his fill of mead and goads him into all manner of posts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. And we'll pick this up later. Yes, unfortunately we are now. We are not the best. For your stories. Come on. I didn't start the fight with you. Quite. This game has very weird. I did change the goddamn weapon. <sighs> yeah, we're doing great. We're doing just fine. I can hear one of the brothers in the distance. Maybe I'm just making this up. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. I'd heard rumors of a powerful dwarf ruling over some. Nothing remains on Late Guard except the ruins of uh, Mutsugnir's cruelty. The once fertile soil is barren, soaked with the blood of both hunters and the hunted. It was the noble Dwarf King himself who demanded the bloodshed. He who conscripted the gentle farmers of these lands into an army of ill-equipped hunters. He whose thirst for savage beasts produced a legion of widows. The castle still stands for those foolish enough to scavenge, wherein dwells the deadliest of his quarry. Let caution guide you. Yikes, doesn't sound like a very nice place. Father will probably want to visit anyway to look for his full resources. He's gotten a little predictable, but I'm still having fun seeing new places with him. Poor sod's not far from here. Not that you asked me. So let me see if I have this one. You and Sindri made me own here. Yep. And then Thor used it to kill a lot of people. Your damn point? Just seems like you're mad at each other about it, instead of being mad at Thor. Kid, I like you. But you don't begin to appreciate the complexities what developed between families. You don't hear me lecturing your old man how he ought to be raising you. And believe me, there's plenty to critique. Sorry, Brock. Just trying to help. Hey, Brock. You ever hear of a Dwarf King? I suppose you're talking about Motsignir? Some bitch ruled over the humans once lived in this area. Built itself a castle just north of here. A Dwarven castle? What's it like? You got yourself a pair of eyes and legs, ain't you? Might want to stock up before you head that way, though. 
Old Moltsignir's known for collecting all manner of killerin' creatures. Not sure who's looking after them now. Right, uh, you that away, reminds then. me I need to buy... Buy... Resurrection Stone. Yeah, this one is enough. And I'm gonna end this part here, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye. Now about that other thing.